The following description comes from Lady Jane Francesca Wilde's book Ancient Legends, Mystic Charms and Superstitions of Ireland, 1888. It is a description given by someone who visits a fairy doctor for advice. The doctor always seems as if expecting you and had full knowledge of your coming. He bids you be seated, and after looking fixedly on your face for some moments, his proceedings begin. He takes three rods of witch hazel, each three inches long, and marks them separately. For the stroke, for the wind, for the evil eye. This is to ascertain from which of these three evils you suffer. He then takes off his coat, shoes and stockings, rolls up his shirt sleeves and stands with his face to the sun in earnest prayer. After prayer, he takes a dish of pure water and sets it by the fire. Then, kneeling down, he puts the three hazel rods he had marked into the fire and leaves them there till they are burned black as charcoal. All the time his prayers are unceasing and when the sticks are burned he rises and again faces the sun in silent prayer, standing with his eyes uplifted and hands crossed. After this he draws a circle on the floor with the end of one of the burned sticks, within which circle he stands, the dish of pure water beside him. Into this he flings the three hazel rods and watches the result earnestly. The moment one sinks he addresses a prayer to the sun and taking the rod out of the water he declares by what agency the patient is afflicted. Then he grinds the rod to powder, puts it in a bottle which he fills up with water from the dish and utters an incantation or prayer over it in a low voice with clasped hands held over the bottle. But what the words of the prayer are, no one knows. They are kept as solemn mysteries and have been handed down from father to son through many generations, from the most ancient times. The potion is then given to be carried home and drunk that night at midnight in silence and alone. Great care must be taken that the bottle never touches the ground and the person carrying it must speak no word and never look round till home is reached. The other two sticks he buries in the earth in some place unseen and unknown. If none of the three sticks sinks in the water then he uses herbs as a cure. Vervain, eyebright and yarrow are favourite remedies and all have powerful properties known to the adept. But the words and prayers he utters over them are kept secret and whether they are good or bad or addressed to deity or to a demon, none but himself can tell.